Do, 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 do. Say hello Skittles, hello there people and welcome to the original Hungry Nuts channel, yes. Hi there, it's Murdo here, yes, Murdo's my proper name, it's the original Hungry Nuts channel. Right, David, my partner's here again today and he's helping John in the garden cutting more trees down. He's been doing that most of the week and they sat out last night, they had built a bonfire last night on Halloween to burn the wood. He's keeping some of the wood, John's keeping some of the wood, but they're knocking down trees because he's way to get a big greenhouse. So yeah, that's that. Right, what am I up to? Well, I thought I'd uh, make soup, and uh, if you bear with me a minute, I'll tell you what I put in it and show you what I put in it. So, I had lots of vegetables. I had tons of vegetables. So I thought, I'm going to make a Russian, a Russian borscht style soup. Uh, yeah, Eastern European soups, like what they eat in Poland, Russia, Latvia, all the countries. And my neighbours are Latvia. So if they're seeing this video and getting subtitles, they'll be going, oh, he's making a borscht soup. Myrtle's making a borscht soup. Simple to make. This is my, my version of it. I had two bags, great big bags, these are, of sauerkraut. Do you see that? Sauerkraut. You'll be going, that's German. Well, they eat it in Eastern European countries as well, especially Russia. This one is Kaljanka. I don't know if you can see that very well. Kaljanka sauerkraut. And it's Polish. It's Polish, this one. And it's different from the German one because it isn't fermented in wine. Usually sauerkraut is sort of pickled and it's vinegary with wine. You know, like wine vinegar. But that one is only put in water. And it's bagged, and it keeps it keeps for a long time. This actually keeps until December, and I've been, it's been sitting in the fridge. I've got two bags of it. I used one, so that's the base for my borscht style soup. Okay, that's it there. That big thing on the top. I don't know if you can see that. Great, that great big thing on the top is a great big bit of pork, pork loin. So I'll put in my sauerkraut. Okay. This is just my style, my way of doing it. Big, full bag of sauerkraut, two pints of water, uh, box, full box of tomato passata, put that in it, put in it three white onions, chopped, three red onions, chopped, put in it, I've not got any carrots to show you, but you know what a carrot's like. You know what an onion's like as well. I put in it carrots, okay, chopped carrots. I put in it tons of black ground pepper. I also used the last, I'll have to get these some up tomorrow when I go up to Riddles. I also put in it two tablespoons of mixed herbs. And then I put in my big piece of loin and that's all the ingredients you need for it so i'm going to put it on and cook it up and then once it's cooked i'm going to chop up my loin my pork loin and put it back in the pot and we'll have it with crusty bread it should be pretty good it's no pickled as i say that's no pickled that sauerkraut that one so it's not going to be vinegary uh that's the polish style one so i'm going to put it on in my drink call Set the temperature to soup for 40 minutes and we'll see how we get on. And I'll probably put it on again for another 20 minutes. Right, these pork loins that I got, I have to show you them. I made, I made a big casserole the other night with them. And it was a great big bag. Here they are there. I'll put, my, put this down. You see that? Now, the pork loins humongous that came in this bag. Look at the that. Look at the that. Would you believe it if I told you I bought this bag for £5.99. £5.99. Guess how many of the pork loins were in that bag? 16. 16 massive pork loins for £5.99. The company is Jaxa. The 
company is Jaxa, spelled J-A-C-S-A. -S and they're produced in Spain. The court lines come from Spain. So they're very good. I'm going to have to wash my hands. Bear with me because I've touched the raw meat there. Always wash your hands. So that's what I'm up to. So yeah, good bargain. So I'm going to get more of them. I made, as I say, I made a casserole that I had a night read them in the Drew and Co. Uh, multi, <coughs> multi cooker thing that I use, you know. And they turned out fantastic. They're no, um, there's wee bits of bone, of course. You're going to get wee bits of bone on pork loins usually. So you just have to be careful when you eat that. It says to David, be careful when you eat your casserole. But there wasn't that much bones on it. And uh, they were really tender. They were really, really tender. Right, my glasses are bent in the house. I'm going to borrow David's because I'm going to turn the computer off this video that is. Right, it's coming up to 25 minutes to 12. Friday afternoon, the 1st of November. Yeah, it's my birthday in a couple of weeks. I'll be 59 year old. I'll be 59 year old. Right, I'll get going just now. Catch you on the next video. Thank you if you've subscribed to the channel. It means a lot. If you haven't, can you maybe consider doing it? It would help. In the meantime, I'll get going just now. And yeah, I've got a few big cups, coffee cups here to wash. Right, I'll get going. Have a super weekend. Take care. Thank you for looking at the original Hungry Nuts channel. I'll be back with more videos very soon. And that's what I'm up to today. I'm out of puff. I'm out of puff. I'm out of condition. I am. I'm out of condition. Right, bye for now. Love yous. Take care.